Hello, I'm Maurice Bimba. Welcome to this presentation. And I'm going to take you through the exportation of Tecla Structures drawings into AutoCAD. Let's get started here. If I take you back, we did this isometric drawing. We generated this isometric drawing from, uh, from our previous model. So we want to export this into AutoCAD, this isometric. Then in AutoCAD, you can now, you can even use the title block in the AutoCAD. And if I zoom just inward, you'll be able to see the material list or uh, the part list for the whole model here, bringing to, uh, the total weight of the of the model to let me just bring it closer bring the, the total weight to be 135 135 tons everything is listed here you can see that everything is there let me just zoom in and out. Now from here, what I want to do is now to export this to AutoCAD. Now from AutoCAD, you can uh, manipulate it further. And the exporting AutoCAD is for those people who are not that familiar with, uh, with the Tecla structures. So it's also important uh, that uh, you take this to AutoCAD so that you can share. With I'll come to file there. Then I'll go, I'll go to export drawings right there and export drawings you can feed the name of the model or how you want to save it in uh, in during exportation to AutoCAD now we have three tabs here we have export the file layer options and options now under ex export files don't check and check that if you have it checked uh, under layer option, uncheck everything there. And uh, option, under options, I'll check, yeah, uncheck everything there. I'll show, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that later on in the in the next presentation why you should uncheck all those. Now, on uh, on the exportation file, or on option file, you see the scale is one to one. The scale don't interfere with, just leave it one to one. Layer options, just uncheck all this and. Uh, let it remain at line type mapping excel xml and uh, there are layer rules here use standard if you like and use bs1192 but uh, we'll go back to export file and export file there's nothing more here we'll just go ahead and click export once you've clicked export you'll follow this drawing inside the folder yeah, after exporting this, we will follow these the, the exported drawings into uh, inside the folder of this model. We'll go to we'll now close this because it has no use for us now. Now we'll go to C drive. We'll click on that. We'll click on C drive. We'll go to C drive right there. Then we'll go to Tecla Structures model. We double click on that and we, we open all the folders. Now we'll scroll down to the folder name of all of our of our model. We have faces and castellated beams. We'll double click on that. Now inside this, we'll go to plot files. Inside this plot file is, is where we, we find all the drawings exported into AutoCAD or, or the drawings that are in AutoCAD format DWG. Now we we'll double click on that to open and we'll find our drawings here, Mara 1. Now this one we we'll just click open and it will open automatically in AutoCAD because it has been converted during uh, during exportation into AutoCAD format. Now we will wait for the AutoCAD to open then we'll be able to access the drawing and also we'll have that opportunity to to manipulate it or rescale it to, to uh, one to one scale.
and we be able to share it with anybody who is not conversant with particular structures to be able also to give his views or put some some ideas or uh, suggest changes that should be made on that drawing then uh, it can be taken back to the person who is doing the modeling tecla structures that is the way to export a, a drawing in tecla structure to autocad let it wait let us wait as it load in autocad after after uh, opening will be able now I, I will be able to show you how you can take that drawing into autocad title block that you've made in autocad as simple as that you click that here we are now it is in, in autocad right here this is now in autocad format Now I'll go for my title block that I did in AutoCAD, and I will I'll open I will open the previous. I'll open the title block that I did in AutoCAD and uh, just copy paste this into that into that title block, and also rescale it to one to one scale. Let me just close all this. Let me just close that, and also I don't need this. I'll close that. Now I'll go straight for my title block. It is on top of my desktop. I'll minimize this for me to access it. I'll minimize that. I'll minimize that. I'll minimize that. Then I'll go straight for my for my for my title block right there. And also I had already did that. So I want uh, I want to just to show you how to arrive to what I've already done here. Let me just show you show you how it will appear but once I've, I've shown you the direction how to do it it won't be such a hard task to do it's simple it takes you minutes to do that now this is how it, it looks once you've exported it into into AutoCAD and uh, you you rescale it in AutoCAD now to fit inside your title block this is this is my title block that I did in AutoCAD then after exporting this uh, now if you if you're familiar with AutoCAD you, you can now rescale this you can just uh, rescale this to one to one scale or to any scale that will make you will make it fit into your title block then from the title block you can now convert it into one one to one scale that is simple as that Now, once you've selected everything right there, you can now you can now fix in you can fix your title block here in AutoCAD with all with all this. But uh, note that um, in isometric view, the materials are not normally necessary. These are no, no, normally necessary when you are. When, the, when your drawing is a GA or uh, the shop drawings or uh, erection drawings, this is very important. But at the moment, in isometric uh, view drawing, we can just delete it. But this is how it looks once you've exported it into AutoCAD. This is how it looks, and that is how it's done. I'll just take you back on how I, I, I arrived at that. I'll minimize that. Let me minimize that. The drawing itself is this. Now to export, I'll come back again. You come to file right there. You come to export drawings right there. You type the name of your uh, of the drawing you intend to export right here. Now the moment you've done that, and check whether and check this type. Include re revision mark to the file name. Don't include. You can check or or just retain it and uh, layers just uncheck everything options just uncheck everything because it will distort or will, will make your, your your exportation look so awkward now i'll come to export file back once you've uh, typed the name 
and the type of drawing you want either a dwg or a dx a, D, a, a dxf that's upon you but the best is the dwg this one you'll be able to manipulate properly in, in autocad and thanks a lot for watching this video i'm your presenter Maurice dimba and don't forget to, to subscribe to this channel and let's meet on the next presentation where we'll discuss further on other usage of tecla structures by doing practical examples and sharing it with you in this channel bye bye i'm your presenter Maurice dimba and don't forget to subscribe